and have already made two videos about kids cake toppers that can be added into their little and special cakes however i've realized that i didn't actually made videos for the first birthday cakes so today i want to show you three cake toppers that can be added on a, a little first birthday cake and they're really cute and they're really nice so i really hope you enjoy them and if you want they can be added for a little girl first birthday you just need to change their colors however i would like to make another video uh, which is just about uh, a little girl uh, first birthday cake toppers uh, which it will be done in not now but i think in the future i would really love to make them if you have any ideas or if there is something that you would like me to make just let me know in the comment and i will happy to make it for you but today let's have a look how you can make these cute cake toppers so let's start with the bowl of beige fondant and then we're going to make it longer and flatten it and on top of it we're going to use this wooden mold and instead of cutting it because i like the round edges i'm going to make more straight sides using my fingers after finishing i'm going to leave it like this to dry so that it's going to take this shape and now let's start making the four legs and uh, they're all we're going to start from four balls and then we're going to make them longer and more like a kind of cones at the bottom of each leg we're going to add a strip of uh, light blue fondant which is going to make the legs look a lot cuter The kind of wooden base is already dried, however, it is still a little bit soft. So I'm going to leave it at the top of this mold that I've made so that it's going to stay like this. Then I'm going to dust it with some cocoa powder so that it's going to look a lot nicer and a lot more like a wooden uh, effect. In the meantime, we're going to do the body and we're going to make a comb first and then we're going to uh, curve the smallest part which is going to be the neck. Now we're going to insert a wooden stick on each of the leg except on one which we're going to insert instead a long cocktail stick. Then we're going to put the four legs at the end of the wooden base and then on top of it we're going to add the body and we want to make sure that the leg which has the longer wooden stick is going to go inside the neck as well let's move on making the head and again we're going to start from a bold and make a cone and make a little bit more curved like this make a cut for the mouth and insert a cute and little ball of uh, black fondant which is going to be the eye of course at this point we're going to make the two ears as well and we're going to press in the middle and then press it at the bottom of it and cut it and put it onto the head now we can insert the cute a little head as well now at the top of the body i want to add something more and for that we're going to roll a, a novel then all around we're going to add a light blue strip of a fondant we're gonna flatten it and we're gonna put it at the top 
of the body like this. What we need to do again is still making the tail and we're going to make this kind of cone which is pressed and at the end what we want to do is to making it curved like this. Then we're going to add lots of lines um, to make sure that it looks like it has lots of hair and that we can put it on uh, to the body with the help of a piece of uh, cocktail stick as well. At the front of the mouth we're going to add uh, a strip of beige fondant and as well all around the neck And we're gonna flatten it and we're going to make lots of lines like this and then we're going to need another strip between the two of them which is going to kind of um, connect the two pieces together using this uh, plunge cutter i'm going to make a few little stars and I'm going to leave them to dry a little bit. In the meantime, we're going to make the crest starting from a long cone. Then we're gonna flatten it and we're going to make lots of cuts and around its tips. And then we can put it on top starting from the head and if it is too long, we just need to cut it like this. I want to uh, add the stars at the back of uh, the little horse and on the legs as well. But I want to add some stars as well on top of the horse and um, I'm going to do that using the gel paste, the blue one, and I'm going to make this again using the plunge cutter. But, but make sure that the center of it is up because you want to make the drawing just all the outside of it. But as you can see, it's not really nice at the moment. So I'm going to clean it with a, a really, really tiny brush. So the rocking horse has been done. And as you can tell, it does rocks a little bit. Now the next cake topper that I want to make is the number one and I've already rolled some uh, baby blue fondant and then I'm going to cut the number one twice. So now we have two number ones and uh, on the back one what we want to do is adding a small a long candle and then we want to add a long cocktail stick as well which is going to support the whole number and to make the wooden effect i'm going to use this mold and finally to give the extra wooden effect i'm going to dust it with some cocoa powder now let's move on making the last uh, cake topper which is uh, the cute and little train and we're going to start making a rectangle from a thick piece of black fondant then to make the front part of the train we're going to make a big cylinder with um, again the baby blue modeling paste and then we want to cut the sides of it to making it nice and flat and then we can put it at the front of uh, the train now we want to cut a beige round circle and we want to put it at the front of uh, the cylinder let's draw some circles using different size of round cutters and then in the middle we're going to add a small round piece of fondant again now we want to add a small piece of fondant all around it, removing the extra and we want to add two more on top of it and again we want to remove and cut the extra fondant that we're not going to need and with um, a small ball tool we're going to add some holes to making it look much nicer and just a tiny bit more realistic now using instead a big black 
block of uh, fondant we're going to make the back of the train and if it's not perfect at the top it's okay because we're going to cover it with some brown fondant again so we want to cover the whole black block and um, remove any extra fondant and then we want to give the wooden effect using a wooden mold to make the windows we're going to use again the round cutter and remove the fondant in the middle clean it a little bit instead at the front i want to make a half circle window so i'm going to use a, a bigger cutter and again I'm going to take off this piece of fondant and then clean it again on the inside. To make the roof, I'm going to use the baby blue fondant. I'm going to cut it of the same size, just a slightly bigger uh, than uh, uh, the back of the train and I'm going to make it as um, round as possible in the center. I like this kind of shape as I think it is much much nicer than a lot of others. And now let's put it at the top of the rest of the train. To make the wheels we're going to need four black circles and then we're going to cut out the same size from the blue fondant and we're going to use then another round cutter but just slightly bigger and cut it make sure that you have the same uh, room all around it and then cut it and here you have a nice base for the wheels instead for the small wheel we're going to be needing two round circles just tiny bit smaller in the middle of the wheel i'm going to add eight pieces of a small beige fondant And in the middle, instead of adding more fondant, I'm just going to draw a circle. So let's put the wheels all on top of uh, the train. We need to add as well a small piece of black fondant at the front as well. Just right at the front bottom of the train, we're going to add a small shape of uh, blue fondant. And we're going to draw lots of lines to make it a more realistic effect one more thing that we need to add to the train is uh, where the smoke comes out and it is made in two parts first of all is a cylinder and then on top of it has um, another piece which is uh, slightly bigger so let's put one on top of the other and uh, what we need to do is to insert a spaghetti or piece of cocktail stick inside To make the smoke, what we need to do is really simple and nice to make. You need to make uh, lots of balls all of different size and then let's put them all together and give a nice shape like this. Once we're happy with it, we can just put it on top of the train as well. And finally, the small touch is dusting with cocoa powder to give a, a more realistic and nice effect. I really hope you enjoyed these cute and little cake toppers and uh, don't forget to subscribe to activate the bell but it's all for today and see you next time bye bye